Oh goodness. Hi lovely. So I am on my way to, I guess it would like help if I turned down the air conditioning so y'all didn't have that in your ear. Um, anyways, I am headed over to uh, pick up my best friend. I am horribly late to the point where she fell asleep, which is good because she needed it. She had two shifts at the hospital where she works and they were pretty crazy and she didn't get much sleep. So I was going to videotape a lot more of this experience, but I could not find my inhaler. So that sends me into a panic because if I don't have my inhaler, I could have an asthma attack and die. That's pretty much like the only valid actual anxiety that I have. Cause like legit, if I have an asthma attack, I could die. So I could not find it anywhere. It ripped my entire room apart, which makes me more anxious. And there was none to be found. So it is awesome that it's Saturday. Cause why would I ever lose my inhaler on a weekday? Never. So I call in and of course it's the, that one doctor, one doctor in the whole practice that I dislike is on call. He's always on call when I call and he's asking me like a bazillion questions and I'm like, dude, it's a freaking inhaler. Like I don't abuse it. Like I've been going to Kim for years and years now. Like, ah. So the reason I'm breathing right now, the reason I was so panicky is because I was actually having an asthma attack when I was like, I need to find it. Generally, I just need to find it when I'm going out um, anywhere, so I have it with me. But I was actually having an asthma attack, so I needed to take it and then go out. So uh, I did uh, my nebulizer, which I absolutely hate doing, especially if I'm going out to be with people. Uh, because it makes me so freaking anxious and jittery and like if you were to clap next to me I'd be like ah! like it makes me so wired and just like like for normal people if they drank like 10 cups of coffee that's how it makes me like I hate it but I didn't have a choice because I didn't know if he was gonna call it in or how long it was gonna take yada 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 so awesome start to an awesome day but my friend and i yay are going to a movie we don't know yet and then or no we're going to eat and then go into a movie hopefully we're going to regal cinema i don't know if we are i'll show you around that area a little bit because it's this awesome little outdoor mall i guess is like the best way i can explain it it's so cute and so adorable so i'll show you little clips of it so it's gonna be like a follow me vlog except for you missed the whole makeup and getting ready part that i wanted to show you but the rest of the way you're gonna be following me which right now we're going to the pharmacy so not very fun but i'll pick up when i get to her house yay see you in another little bit bye bye this whole video is going to be shaky because I shake so much when I take my uh, nebulizer thing. But, so I had so much fun doing that last giveaway, which is not even in the mail yet, which I feel horrible about because my mom had to go to Florida all of a sudden and it's just been this complete chaos, but it's all wrapped up and ready to go. I just have to drop it off, um, which I am going to do on Monday. Uh, but my absolute favorite foundation is actually drugstore foundation and I've tried everything trust me so I was thinking about doing a giveaway of this but you would just let me know what your color was and then I could just get it for you and send it to you so what do you guys think of that in the comments down below let me know what you think about that for a giveaway I am in the pharmacy because I forgot to brush my teeth that's rather pleasant isn't it so I have to stop and get hopefully a travel size of uh, 
whatchamacalls, what's, what's it called? And I forgot a Gatorade, I need to drink. I'm very dehydrated. Why is, things are talking to me. Uh, but yeah, I am going to get hopefully a travel size so I don't have to spend a bzzzzunk dunk amount of money because I have so many toothbrushes at home. And hopefully I can find it. So, let me know what you think of that idea and I'll start back in with you for real this time. Oh, I wonder if this works. For customer assistance. See, I really am in a pharmacy. Look at this. It's a new miracle gel by Sally Hansen. If anyone's tried that, let me know. I'm probably going to be surfing that on YouTube later because I was just complaining. I don't even want to do my nails because if I take a shower or is a day go by, day goes by it's gone so it's really freaking annoying so it'd be awesome to have gels so let me know okay bye hello ladies i want to show you my brand new inhaler so that's great oh and then i wanted to show you Lindsay's uh jewelry thing that i've been talking about that i told you i would show you when i saw it but it's this travel thing and this is all for jewelry but don't you worry can you go put over there's a whole other side of jewelry. So, she will be getting my wantables extras or gold. And that's my best friend, Lynn. Hi. Isn't she beautiful? And we're going to go to Outback because they have the best summer menu ever. And, can you guys even see me? And then we're going to go to a movie, but I don't know what. But I will be back to tell you. showing not at like 10 50 at night so we won't get popcorn so bye. bye hey guys so i just dropped my best friend off at her house and um we ended up i don't know if i told you i think i did we ended up seeing the purge anarchy and it was actually really good at first i was a little bit nervous that it was like too much gratuitous violence um, because we just, we just, uh, picked it at the last minute just because it was the only thing that was not until, like, there were some movies that didn't come on until, like, 10.50. Like, they were so, so late. And she's been working crazy hours at the hospital, so she would have fallen asleep. But it was, um, after, like, the beginning part, it was actually, and I got into the story, it was actually really interesting and like kind of a movie about society and like the class system in the United States so it was pretty interesting I mean it was still really violent obviously it's about like one day of the year that people can commit any murder any murder any crime including murder and it be okay so um and it like drops the crime rate to like 5% or something insane. Um, so I only watched like half of the first Purge movie. I didn't really like it. I didn't, I don't know why usually I like horror type movies and, but it was just kind of boring. I don't know. I don't remember why, but I, I think I fell asleep, which is like really rare for me to fall asleep during a movie. But, um, yeah, I just didn't like it, and uh, but that was more like from the aspect of a family inside their house, and this was more like a view on society. So I found it very interesting, and so did my friend. So we were like talking about the movie and what 
this part meant to us and this part and what were they saying during this part and so it was really interesting um, and I really liked it. I wouldn't say like everyone go out and see it uh, if you like violent movies or don't mind violent movies or kind of like thriller horror movies then yeah but if not then no because there's definitely a lot of violence in it. Yeah, so I'm gonna have this video up a little bit late, but it's 12:30 and I'm just on my way home now, so nothing I can do about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this follow. I call them follow me fibro days, just kind of like my day. Well, most of my day, um, following me around and whatnot. I don't know if you guys like these or not, but now that I can put my videos together uh, and edit them a little bit. I can do more of these. So um, I hope you guys like them. And I asked you to comment something earlier in the video. I don't remember what it was, but do that. Whatever I asked you to comment. I don't know what it was, but I, oh, the giveaway if you wanted that giveaway. Um, so I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day, and I'm sending out X double O's, and as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow.